Perfect. Wednesdays we wear pink. Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. As you already know, we're doing another bomb ass wig review. So today's wig was sent to me by Weekend Wigs. Let me just tell you, their website has so many options. They let me pick whatever unit I wanted to try. So your girl had a little bit of thinking to do. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and open her up and see what I got. Okay, so before I show you what unit I got, well, actually, it's already going to be in the thumbnail. Never mind. Okay, but before I show you the unit, I'm going to go ahead and mention they did include some nice long bobby pins as well as two free wig caps, which is good because your girl... Actually, I was really thinking about going to the store tomorrow and getting some more wig caps, so they came in clutch with that. <laughs> um, and now it's time for this beauty right here. Oh, she's bright. Uh, when I was looking and picking what wig I wanted to try, I had to take a moment to think about what I haven't tried, okay? We saw the ugly green wig, we saw the black wig with orange tips, we've seen the neon green wig with dark roots, I mean, I've tried a lot of different things, but I have yet to try a hot, oh, she's so bright, a hot pink neon wig, y'all, and, oh, she's bold, she, oh my gosh, she is so bright, the quality seems very, very soft, of course, it's a silky texture, um, I wish it had a slightly yakky texture, I'll just say that right now, but the only unit they had with a slightly yakky texture was more like a Kim Possible type of wig, and you know, I just wasn't ready to be rocking that color, but it feels very, very soft. She got some movement, she got some body, oh my gosh, she's so bright! Um, let's go ahead and get to the good details, you know, the shit that matters. This is what the inside cap construction looks like. You get a good amount of parting space right here, and you get some combs and adjustable straps. Alright, so I went ahead and zoomed y'all out because she's got inches, honey. She's got <laughs> inches. Honestly, I don't know the length, but I... If I had to guess, I would say about 26 or 28 inches. And girl, oh, I'm loving this color. I'm literally, I'm living for it. This is what the hairline's looking like. She's definitely pretty dense. So if you don't like your units that dense, I would definitely go ahead and pluck her. Now, even though the hairline does seem pretty dense, today I'm not sure if I'm going to pluck her. Um, might, maybe just a little bit, but I'm, I think I'm going to do it off camera. Um, but we are definitely going to go ahead and put her on, honey. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm living for this right now! This is so, this is so, oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, I'm living. Alright, so from ear to ear definitely have to cut some of this off so I do think it's big head friendly it seems very very stretchy and it seems like there's a lot of room to play with in this unit oh let me brush her out bitch let me brush her out look at this color y'all oh my god I'm gonna have to do an all pink look with this honey Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm brushing through the unit. We're going to see if there is any type of shedding. And so far, it seems like my brush is literally gliding through this, which I'm super surprised, especially because it's super long. This looks so good. This looks... Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh my god, okay, so we gonna cut this lace off, and I will be right back to show you this sledge. 
Okay, so I did have to cut a little bit off the sides right here just so that um, my ears weren't covered by the lace. Um, so now that we have that out of the way, um, I really don't think I want to pluck the hairline. However, I am going to glue this down um, and also put some baby hairs. So starting off, if y'all don't know by now, now you know, I'm using the Got To Be Glued in the black bottle. I'm going to use it on this brush because I don't know where my rat tooth comb is. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly add this around my hairline just so that the lace can stick. And then we're using the yellow bottle of Got To Be Glued as well to get that nice and tacky. I'm gonna go ahead and press this down. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and leave this middle part. What I'm gonna do is just take out a little tiny bit of hair so we can add some baby hairs and make this look a little bit more natural. But I mean, how natural can you make a bright neon <laughs> hot pink wig look so <laughs> gonna go ahead and cut these pretty mm, which way do I want them I think I might do the baby hair just going off that way and I'm gonna twist this a couple times and cut at a diagonal just like that and typically with synthetic units the baby hairs are kind of hard to lay down so what I'm gonna do is grab my got to be glued as well and blot that down on there. Just because I find if I only use the yellow spray to kind of get them in order, it don't really work. The got to be glued, the actual gel, um, it has a little bit more weight to it. So it's easier uh, to like actually lay the hairs down. So just a little tip for y'all. And then I'm going to take some more baby hairs out on this side as well. And I'm just going to continue doing the rest of my baby hairs. I'll probably speed that part up for you guys so you ain't sitting here all day. Okay, so now that I have my baby hairs all slicked down to how I want them, I'm just going to go ahead and take my silk scarf right here. Honestly, I just rolled it up and we're going to go ahead and tie that around. Gonna make sure it's nice and tight because we don't want these baby hairs lifting or moving or anything else like that. And we also want the wig to stay flat because I don't want to see any of my dark hair underneath. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this marinate a little bit, um, probably about five, 10 minutes, probably 15, who knows. Um, so once this is done, I will be right back and I will go ahead and give you my final thoughts. Okay y'all, I'm back, I styled it, I went ahead and added a little bit of concealer to my part, and also I forgot to mention it's heat resistant, so I ran the straightener through it as well, just so I could get all those little kinks out of it, but <laughs> let me just say, your girl is feeling herself, honey, okay? When I look at this unit, <laughs> when I look at this unit, honestly, I just want to do a photo shoot in it, and that's definitely what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to do a photo shoot in it because it's so, so cute. The color is everything. I'm living for it. I do want to mention I wanted to kind of make this a simple, easy tutorial or review, I guess, so that's why I didn't pluck the hairline. I just... Added some baby hairs, added some concealer, and this is what she's looking like. So it's honestly not bad. You can make her look even better if you took the time to pluck the hairline. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not that bitch today to go ahead and, you know, pluck the hairline and all that. But honey, she still look cute, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the pros of this unit. The pros, obviously, the color. Another pro that I like is the amount of parting space that they give you to work with. Again, you will have to apply a little bit of heat to flatten it down, make it look a little bit more natural. I mean, like I said before, how natural can you make a hot pink wig look? 
but um, you know what I mean to make it look a little less bulky and honey <laughs> Oh my god. One thing I wish was different about this wig. I wish the hairline wasn't as dense just because it would be amplified. It would just make this look even better than it already does. And I wish that this hair texture, ooh, I wish it was slightly yakky just to give it a little bit more of a human hair appearance. But other than that, <laughs> weekend wigs, <laughs> y'all did that. Oh, I can even talk because that's how shook I am. So yeah, so that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you to Weekend Wigs for sending me this unit, letting me try it out because, ooh, she's up there on my list, honey. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get out y'all face because... <laughs> Because your girl is ready to take some bomb ass photos in this unit. So thank you guys so much for watching. All the information on this wig will be listed down in the description box below. Be sure to check it out. Like I said, they have so many units on there. It took me a while to decide on this one. So that just goes to show y'all. They have a couple units on there that it was, they was bomb and I was... I couldn't decide what to pick. <laughs> but yes, that is it for this video, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.